you may have heard about the decline of traditional brick and mortar stores and the rise of online shopping, but there is much more to this trend than meets the eye. In this video, we'll be sharing 20 surprising facts about the retail apocalypse that will give you a deeper understanding of how it has impacted the retail industry and beyond. From the closure of thousands of stores to the rise of big economy, the retail apocalypse has had a significant impact on many aspects of our lives. So sit back and get ready to learn some surprising facts about the great American retail apocalypse. Number one, the extent of the retail apocalypse. A lot of us may be unaware of this, but the retail apocalypse isn't something limited to only the United States. It's a global phenomenon that is affecting many countries all over the world. The retail apocalypse, also known as the death of brick and mortar stores, is a trend that has been seen around the world, not just in the United States. Many countries have experienced the closure of traditional retail stores and the rise of online shopping, which has had a significant impact on the retail industry. This trend has been fueled by the increasing popularity of e-commerce and the convenience of online shopping, which has led to the decline of physical stores. The retail apocalypse has affected many countries around the world, including Canada, the United Kingdom, Australia, and China. Many well-known retail brands have filed for bankruptcy or closed their doors due to the rise of online shopping, and the trend is expected to continue in the coming years. Number 2. The Cause Behind the Retail Apocalypse The main cause of the retail apocalypse is the rise of online shopping, which has led to the closure of many brick-and-mortar stores. Online shopping has become increasingly popular in recent years due to its convenience and the wide range of product available. Consumers can shop from the comfort of their own home and have products delivered directly to them, which has led to the decline in foot traffic at physical stores. This shift towards online shopping has led to the closure of many brick-and-mortar stores as they struggle to compare with the convenience and competitive prices offered by online retailers. The rise of e-commerce has also led to a decline in sales for physical stores as consumers turn to online options for their shopping needs. The retail apocalypse has been fueled by a rise of online shopping and the decline of traditional brick-and-mortar stores. Number 3. The Shutting Down a Radio Shack the first major retail company to close its doors due to the retail apocalypse was Radio Shack, which filed for bankruptcy in 2015. Number 4. A mass shutdown of stores between the year of 2017 and 2018. In 2017, more than 3,500 stores closed in the United States, and over 6,000 stores closed in 2018. Number 5. Impact of the retail apocalypse on department stores. The department store industry has been one of the hardest hit sectors of the retail industry during the retail apocalypse. Many well-known department store brands, such as Sears and JCPenney, have struggled to compete with the rise of online shopping and have had to file for bankruptcy or close their doors. The department store industry has also been impacted by the rise of discount stores, which offer lower prices and a wider range of products, making them a more attractive option for many consumers. The retail apocalypse has had a significant impact on the department store industry, and many experts predict that the trend towards online shopping will continue to impact the sector in the coming years. Number 6. The Impact on Malls and Shopping Centers The retail apocalypse has not only affected traditional brick-and-mortar stores, but also malls and shopping centers. Many malls have had to close or reinvent themselves to stay relevant. Number 7. A Significant Decline in Employment The retail apocalypse has led to the loss of thousands of jobs in the retail industry, as well as a decline in tax revenue for local governments. Number 8. The Rise of E-Commerce The rise of e-commerce has had a significant impact on the retail industry, leading to the closure of many brick-and-mortar stores and the rise of online retailers. One of the consequences of this trend has been an increase in warehouse and distribution jobs, as online retailers require large warehouses to store and ship their products. The growth of e-commerce has led to a demand for more warehouses and distribution centers, and as a result, there has been an increase in the number of jobs in the areas. Many people who have lost their jobs in the retail industry have turned to warehouse and distribution work as a way to make ends meet. The rise of e-commerce has had a positive impact on the job market in this sector although it has had negative consequences for traditional retail jobs. Number 9. New Measures Taken Up by Retailers Many retailers have tried to adapt to the rise of online shopping by offering buy online, pick up in-store options, or integrating their online and in-store shopping experiences. 
Number 10, rise of discount stores. The retail apocalypse has also led to the rise of discount stores, such as Dollar General and Family Dollar, which have been able to thrive in a tough retail environment. Number 11, the impact on independent retailers. The retail apocalypse or the decline of traditional brick and mortar stores has had a negative impact on many retailers. However, small and independent retailers have been particularly hard hit as they have struggled to compete with larger, more established brands. These smaller retailers often have less resources and a smaller customer base, which makes it more difficult for them to adapt to the changing retail landscape. Many small and independent retailers have been unable to compete with their convenience and competitive prices offered by online retailers and have had to close their doors as a result. The retail apocalypse has had a disproportionate impact on small and independent retailers who have struggled to keep up with the changes in the industry. Number 12. It ain't over just yet. Some experts predict that the retail apocalypse will continue for the foreseeable future, with more store closures and job losses expected. Number 13 rise in real estate. The retail apocalypse or the decline of traditional brick and mortar stores has had a number of consequences, including a rise in vacant commercial real estate, as many retailers have closed their doors or gone bankrupt. The spaces they occupy to have become empty. This has led to an increase in the number of vacant commercial properties as many former retail space sit empty. This trend has had a negative impact on local communities as vacant properties can lead to a decline in property values and a decrease in tax revenue for local governments. It has also led to a decline in foot traffic and a decline in the overall vibrancy of commercial areas. The retail apocalypse has had a number of negative consequences, including a rise in vacant commercial real estate. Number 14, the impact on service businesses. The retail apocalypse has not only affected traditional retailers, but also restaurants and other service businesses, as many of these businesses rely on foot traffic from shopping centers. Number 15, the ripple effect. The retail apocalypse or the decline of traditional brick and mortar stores has had a ripple effect on other industries. One industry that has been impacted is transportation and logistics, as online retailers require more delivery trucks and warehouses. As the demand for e-commerce has increased, online retailers have needed more warehouses to store and ship their products, leading to an increase in demand for transportation and logistics services. The rise of e-commerce has also led to an increase in the number of delivery trucks on the roads, as more products are being shipped to consumers. The retail apocalypse has had a number of consequences, including an impact on the transportation and logistics industry, as online retailers have required more delivery trucks and warehouses to meet the demand for e-commerce. Number 16. A rise in the gig economy. The retail apocalypse has had a number of consequences, including a rise in the gig economy. As many retailers have closed their doors or gone bankrupt, many former retail workers have lost their jobs. In order to make ends meet, many of these workers have turned to freelance or part-time work. The gig economy, which is characterized by short-term or temporary work, has grown in popularity in recent years, as many people seek flexible and flexible work arrangements. Number 17. The Evolution of Retail Some experts believe that the retail apocalypse is just a natural evolution of the retail industry as it adapts to changing consumer habits and technology. Number 18. Experiential Retail The retail apocalypse has also led to the rise of experiential retail as many retailers try to offer unique and immersive shopping experiences to attract customers. Number 19. An Advantage to the Environment the retail apocalypse has also had a positive impact on the environment, as online shopping reduces the need for physical stores and the energy and resources required to maintain them. Number 20. The Rise of Thrift Stores As the demand for online shopping has increased, many traditional retailers have struggled to compete and have had to close their doors. In response, more consumers have turned to secondhand and thrift stores as a sustainable and cost-effective shopping option. These stores offer a wide range of gently used or vintage items at discounted prices, which has made them an attractive alternative to traditional retail stores. The retail apocalypse has contributed to the rise of secondhand and thrift stores, as more consumers seek out sustainable and cost-effective shopping options. We hope you enjoyed learning about these surprising facts and that you will continue to follow us for more informative content. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.